Right. No, Tony, the things they left on the editing room floor, it's a shame because, you know, people complain about Tony getting so many confessionals, but I, I don't, you know, if anything, I think he should have gotten more. I think Tony was doing so much that he was such a character and had so many entertaining moments. So a few to speak of. Um, day 32, there's a huge rainstorm. Tony's like, we're all giving confessionals like, oh, this rainstorm is so hard. It's, it's, it's really tough out here. And then Tony's confessionals are like, I learned after the fact from him are, yeah, I, I, I love the rain. I want to see people suffer. You know, I, I'm, I'm strong out here. I'm a cop. And I can see that these people are breaking down and he goes behind the shelter and he's like doing a rain dance. And I, <laughs> I saw, I saw like production laughing and I didn't know what they were laughing at, but he was like behind the shelter, <laughs> like jumping up and down doing a rain dance for the rain. And he like, he was, it was so funny with production and Tony because yeah. want, they love Tony, obviously, yes, yes. but they get so frustrated with him because all the time he's, he's talking when he's not supposed to yeah. before challenges, he can't stop. He's uh he would wake, up the cameraman in the middle of the night because mm -hmm. he didn't sleep and we I would occasionally be up and see this but he would like he would go up to the cameraman and be like hey 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 I, I want to talk I want to I want to do something and yeah. uh, he would get the cameraman and he would go and and like dig up his idol and have conversations with his idol <laughs> he would like so he was like a ham and yeah uh, yeah he was definitely they took all the stuff of like the ham in it up which I guess if if you're not if you don't find that stuff entertaining um it's for the best I would have found it entertaining him talking to his idol being like it's just you and me buddy it's yeah. just, we can't trust any of them <laughs> yeah t tony was tony was a fine um and i morgan already talked about him burning down the fire shelter he started like a jungle fire on purpose or by accident no by accident because we were both up and he was he was so obsessed with keeping the fire going and yes. i was like tony we it's it's night let's just have like a slow fire it's not a big deal and he was like no no no, we have to keep it going and he was throwing tinder and, and brush on it and it got so big that it caught it made this like 10 foot high bonfire and it uh, were you up, upset when Tony bought SpencerBledsoe.com and then tried to, uh, to to negotiate its sale with you? I got played out. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, so what happens? You get a message from Tony, and he's like, uh, yeah, "Hey, he's like, he's or no, you get a, me. you get an anonymous message first, right?" No, no, no. Tony okay. talked to me. Tony talked to me and said, uh, look, I bought my domain, TonyVlacos.com. I have all this stuff. I have like my baby photos on there. I've got my t-shirts running. You, you should get in on this. And I'm saying, uh, you know, Tony, I don't think like, what's the point of this? No one really cares that much. Uh, it's Survivor 28. I don't think I'm going to be able to monetize this very minor notoriety I have. Um, and he's like, you know, it's 12 bucks a year. Just do it. And he's very persuasive. He's got me thinking, okay, I should do it. And so I went to GoDaddy.com to try and do it and it was taken and I said and he was like the guy I would talk to about this stuff anyway so I was taught he was talking me through it and I'm like oh it's taken what do I do like and I said he's like you can negotiate you know on the site you can you can, <laughs> you can use GoDaddy as a middleman and try and get that that jerk on the other side to give it to you and so I'm like okay I'll, I'll give an offer yeah and and he, I'm like this guy just re did a counter offer of a thousand dollars or something like what is this and Tony's like that guy's nuts like you should negotiate with him and <laughs> I go through all this negotiation it's a hundred bucks and then I actually was uh, I didn't he didn't tell me for a long time that it was him yeah and I I paid the money and I got it and he's like good job you got a good deal and uh, and so I, I was in the area I was in New York for an interview and I saw him and he gave me an envelope and said don't read it another so, envelope <laughs> everyone loves giving me envelopes oh my god and he gave me an envelope and said don't open it until you're on the plane home from your job interview and so I said, okay, Tony. He's like, it's a surprise. You'll like it. And it, it had my money back. Oh. It, he gave me the money back. He was a good sport. And it showed the, the printout of the GoDaddy, Dear Anthony Vlacos, you owned Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was pretty uh, Boy, Tony doesn't stop uh, in or out of the game. Yeah, nope. Uh, he plays the game all the time. Uh, Ian Rice won.